Hi, this is Gunnar Thorne with OnlineFileStorage.com and today I'm going to show you how to use TrueCrypt. TrueCrypt is a free encryption program that you can use to add extra security to your files. If you have important work files or other documents that you need to keep safe, TrueCrypt is an easy way to add extra security to those files for free. You can get a copy of TrueCrypt at TrueCrypt.org. After you get TrueCrypt downloaded and installed, you can run it to create your first hidden volume. This is the first thing you'll see when you run the program. And to create a volume, all you have to do is click the Create Volume button. And you'll get three choices. I go with the first choice always. This is the most basic way to create a hidden volume. Press the Next button. And we're going to create a standard TrueCrypt volume. The other option is a hidden TrueCrypt volume. The hidden volume is used if you think there's ever a chance that someone could force you to reveal your password. What it does is it creates an outer container with a different password. So if someone forces you to reveal your password, you can give them your alternate password instead of your main password. When you type in your alternate password, TrueCrypt will load the outer volume only. And inside the outer volume, you can store other files that might look important, but aren't actually the real secret files that you have. Whenever you want to access your true files, just enter the primary password that you created for that volume. So basically, you get two different passwords. One password is alternate, one password actually accesses your real files. But for now, we'll just create a standard TrueCrypt volume. Press the Next button, and we're going to choose the volume location. I always just create it in my documents and give it whatever name you want. I probably wouldn't name it TrueCrypt since that gives away what it is. You can name the file anything you want. But for the sake of this review, we'll just call it TrueCrypt. Now press the Next button. Encryption options. If you have a certain type of encryption you'd like to use, you can change those. I always just leave mine at the most basic default option. Press Next when you're ready. Choose the volume size. I'm going to keep my my TrueCrypt volume small at 10 megs, but if you need more space, feel free to type in whatever size you need. Press the Next button. And for the password, you want something that's secure. I'm just going to use a basic password for now. And you can see I get a little warning that tells me my password is too short, but I'm going to use the short password anyways for this tutorial. Now in this window, you need to move your mouse around for as long as you can stand. This adds extra security to your volume. And I'll just move around for a couple seconds here since it's just a tutorial. We'll press format when you're ready. And depending on the size of your volume, this could take anywhere from a couple seconds to a few minutes. Since I have a small TrueCrypt volume, mine was created almost instantly. When it's finished creating the volume, press OK. And you're now done. That's all there is to it. Now, when you're ready to load your TrueCrypt volume, run TrueCrypt, and this is the first screen you'll see. And TrueCrypt works by loading your volume as an external drive or a virtual drive on your computer. So the first thing you do is choose a letter for your drive. I just choose Z for whatever reason. And press select file. And now we'll see we have my TrueCrypt volume here. And we choose that volume. And now click on mount. This will mount the volume as another drive on your computer. Now that I have it mounted, we can go to my computer and we'll see that I now have a new local disk Z drive with about 9.69 megs of free space. Now, this part you copy all of your most important files, all your secret files to this drive and when you're done copying those over, go back to TrueCrypt and press dismount. Your files are now hidden and the drive is removed from your computer. So overall TrueCrypt is a pretty easy to use encryption program. It's widely trusted and it's completely free. A lot of people also use TrueCrypt to add an extra layer of security to their online backups. If you'd like to see a full text guide complete with pictures, just visit the link below. Thanks a lot for watching.